Okay, in this tutorial we're going to review radians again, and we're going to use it so we can calculate the arc length of a circle, or a segment like here, like a point from here to here along the circle would be an arc length. And we usually define that as with a variable uh, s for arc length. Now that's kind of a strange <laughs> letter to use for an arc length, but that's what it is. So we'll just kind of stick with convention for now. So I'm looking at this circle from above, and this is a unit circle in the sense that it has a radius of 1 from the center to the outside edge. That's a unit of 1. So that's what I mean by a unit circle. This is important, especially when we'll get into some trigonometry, sine and cosine functions as well. So one of the things, uh, let's just look at a few things. Let's get into UV image editor window right here, which is how I like to work so I can annotate at the same time. And maybe you're not familiar with this. On this uh, over here where it says view, you can just change it over to paint like that. And then down here I just go get a new right here, new, press OK. So now I have a new image and then I can press N when I'm in here. And then I have my tools and I want to change the radius so I can draw, so I'm going to just press the F key while I'm a mouse in this window, and then I can move it down like that and get a smaller draw brush, and then I'll get a color like this, so I should be able to draw. Okay, I can now like this. Now, you notice it's a little hard to see through sometimes. I have transparency set on this, so you can see the background of the image in here. Now, you may or may not want that. I have this set to, in user preferences, I have my region overlap turned on. That's new in 2.66. And that's actually can be really useful. Say for instance over here I press T for the toolbar, my image stays there. You can see the background all the way through it like that. Now that I have this window, I'll just draw a circle as well. I'm going to review this. This is my little unit circle. That's oh, a terrible unit circle. Okay. So If we want to say define just this arc length between here and here, so that's this would be 90 degrees like this here. The formula for calculating the length of an arc is S is equal to R, and R is the radial distance, so that's basically the radius. When I say radial, radial distance, so R S equals R times my little dot for multiplication, theta, the Greek letter theta. So theta represents angles when we do these things. So this angle between here and here, starting from the x-axis here, going up to the y-axis, that's 90 degrees. So theta, but when you use this formula, you have to use it with theta being an angle in radians. All right, so radians are going to apply to an unbelievable amount of things, and so we're going to use it all the time. All right, so that's one of the most important things for learning theta. So we know from the first lesson in the playlist on radians that 3.14 radians is right over here all the way around like this, or essentially, or the equivalent of 180 degrees, but it's an angle of measure of 3.14 radians. So this is half of that angle, so that's 3.14 divided by 2, or since we know this is the same as pi, this is pi over 2 pi divided by 2 like this and then when we since this is we know this radius here is 1 because I said it's a unit circle we're dealing with so in this case theta happens to be pi over 2 so we'll just I'll just give you the approximate value of it it's just 1.57 because it's 3.14 divided by 2 so then our formula is s is equal to 1 times 1.57. So our arc length here becomes 1.57 units because we're dealing with units. But if you can make this up, like I said, if you started with this being a radius of one foot, then this would be 1.57 feet. Like this would be the length along there. And that's why for a unit circle that would be 3.14 feet, 6.28 feet. But then therein lies the beauty of this formula is it's dependent on your value here. So if I change the radial distance, if I change this circle so it has a radius of 2, let's say I'll just kind of eyeball it for this case. So let's say it has a radius of 2 now, then my formula just becomes S is equal to 2 times theta 
and if I'm still still dealing with this arc length that I'm trying to measure between here and here, so it's going to be s is equal to two times 1.57 if I'm dealing with feet, and then that would then this arc length would become 3.14 feet. All right, so that's really radians are super important, and you'll see me use this Greek letter theta symbol all the time, and it's useful. We're going to use it to calculate linear velocities and angular velocities. We need to use it if we want to figure out how to convert, uh, you know, say revolutions per minute if you're making a motor, because you want to try and tie things together in your animations so they're accurate. You know, you don't want to just always come in and say, all right, I'm going to set a keyframe with I and just spin something around and click a rotation keyframe and kind of eyeballing it. Eyeballing it, it, it can work pretty good if you're a really good artist, but the better way to do it is to be a really good artist and to know mathematics at the same time so you can do it more accurately. All right? All right, well, that's it for now, and I'll see you in the next lesson.